everyone. This week's lesson is based on Daniel 3, 8 through 30. Our story is called The Fiery Furnace. It's about three young men who are forced to move to a foreign land and the challenges that they face. Um, their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So bear with me. Those are a little bit hard to say. Very cool names, but it's a little bit of a challenge for me. Okay? okay. Have you ever helped someone when others wouldn't? Then you made a choice to stand up for that person. Three young men had to make a choice to stand up for God in a foreign land. See what they decided to do. The country of Babylon went to war with Israel. During the war, soldiers captured many Jewish people and took them back to Babylon. Among those taken were three young men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. King Nebuchadnezzar was the ruler of Babylon. Everyone had to do what he said. One day, the king ordered his workers to build a huge golden statue. Everyone must bow down and worship my statue, the king ordered. I will punish anyone who does not bow down. All the people obeyed and bowed down to the statue. That is, everyone except, except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They worshipped only God. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard about this, he was angry. You must bow down to my statue, the king told the three men. If you refuse, I will throw you into a fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego still would not bow down to the statue. The king was really angry. He told his soldiers to tie up the three young men and throw them into the fire. Then an amazing thing happened. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace and saw four men walking around. We tied up three men and threw them into the blazing fire, the king said. Now I see four men walking around in there. They are not tied up and they are not hurt. One of them looks like a god. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the furnace. The three men walked out of the fire. They were not hurt and their clothes were not burned. They didn't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar praised God for sending an angel to rescue the three men. He ordered everyone in Babylon to respect the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to think about what it must have been like for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to try to hold on to their customs and religious practices when they were in a new place and they weren't even there by choice. And also think about how they were brave in facing the challenges of their new lives, about how they were brave for standing up for what they believed in, and also think about being thrown into a fiery furnace, which sounds not so great. Can you imagine moving to a new place and not speaking the same language or having the same customs as the people around you? If we were in Sunday school together, I would ask you how that would make you feel. But since we're not here together, I'm going to imagine what you might say. I think you might say that it would be disorienting and confusing. It would be scary for sure. You wouldn't be able to communicate with other people, which would be super difficult. Going to the store would be hard. You would have a problem asking, asking people for directions if you couldn't figure out where you were going. Ordering food, going to school, all of those things would be nearly impossible. This is how it was for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were in a strange place where people worshipped another god and spoke a different language. And the story doesn't say this, but they were also forced to change their names because the king wanted them to adopt names that were more similar to the names in Babylon. Prior to coming to Babylon, their names had been Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. They were refugees, strangers in a new land with an unfamiliar religion that the king tried to force on them. Rather than welcoming new people to the land and accepting the differences of those people, the king wanted to force his religion and his customs onto the new people. And how did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego respond to these challenges? Well, they were courageous and brave, kind of like in our story last week. They were put to the test by the king and they stood up for what they believed in. And in the end, the king realized that God was more powerful than he was and that differences weren't so bad. He learned that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego should be respected for the differences that they brought to their new country. This is a message that's every bit as important to us today. Will we be the sort of people who welcome differences and try to enrich our lives by learning from new people's experiences? Or will we, will we be like the king and expect everyone who comes to our land to change to fit into our mold? I'd like to think that we'd be the first one, that we'd be accepting of other people's differences and try to learn from them. And I want you to think about this too. 
what kind of person would you want to be in this situation? And what kind of person do you think God would want you to be in this situation? Now let's close in prayer. God of all who seek you, we pray for all those who come to our land with nothing but stories, their faith, and their hopes for a peaceful life. Use the gifts of our community to welcome and support them. Amen. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.